Welcome back. We have a great project to talk about right now, hosted by the PR Foundation. It's called Home Sweet Home, and Pete Blom is here to tell us more about it. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for letting me come here. Of are you course. kidding me? I wait outside that door every day, oh. hoping to get a shot to be on TV. You are you a finally let of me in. <laughs> uh, listen, I love the idea of this. First off, this is going to be an eat and greet eat fundraiser. And greet. Yes, Sunset Point. So on June 1st, we're mm -hmm. doing an eat and greet. I'm bringing a handful of my celebrity chef buddies in town that you've seen on Food Network, you've yeah. seen on Bravo, you've seen on Netflix, Spike TV, and we're gonna have heavy grazing, some specialties, we're gonna have a lot of Sunset Point goodies, some cocktails. I have a couple celebrity mixologists I've reached mm. out to, so we're probably gonna have some of that going on as well. And it's all to raise money for the PR Foundation. Right. So Now tell us a little bit about what the PR Foundation is. So it's something I started with a good friend of mine, Robert. I'm the P, he's the R, PR Foundation. We went to culinary school together. We're on the board at the CIA together and business partners and we want to do good things for good people. I have a young man, John Stewart, that's worked for me for a long time. He's yeah. a special ed guy and he's just amazing and kind of helped him grow up. That community has really looked out for him. Mm -hmm. um, he had a dad who was a Vietnam vet, mm -hmm. double amputee. His mom was suffering from some pretty severe developmental disabilities as well. So he's always had a tough life yeah. and we've always tried to help him. You wouldn't him. know it though, because he's always smiling. Oh my God, he's <laughs> living his best life. Yes. He's living, we were just talking about things and achievements and it's mm -hmm. like, if I could be reaching my potential like John is, yeah. I'd, I'd, who knows what I'd be doing. But, um, you know, his parents have passed away. The home that he inherited from them was in very, very much disarray, very toxic, a lot of mold. It was bad. And one of his former teachers, Tina McGow, talked to me about, what, what can we do? Can we build him a house? And I was like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're doing it. And hence this eat and greet fundraiser. And you really need help. Look at this picture. You really need help uh, from the community to make this happen. Yeah, so the groundbreaking ceremony is coming up because we are doing it. I partnered with Baldwin County Home Builders Association and they have been phenomenal. So Robert and I agreed to back fund the project and guarantee the funds to get going because we were getting donations, my beignet mix, I donated 100% of that to this. Uh, we did a collaboration with a beer company where $3 from every can was going for this community blonde ale. And we're gathering money, everybody is pitching in and we need to continue to raise funds. So mm -hmm. guess what I like to do? You know, I'm a restaurateur. I want to throw parties, invite some friends, and I got a lot of celebrity chefs that are coming in to, to join in on the fun. But you can still sponsor this event maybe if you want to? Or are you looking for Yeah, that? so not sponsors per se, but we're selling tickets online. Okay. Go to um, sunsetpointfairhope.com. Tickets just went on sale. We're only selling 100 tickets. It's gonna sell out. The last fundraiser I did sold out in three days. Mm. Um, and then also you can go to prfoundation.net and just make a donation if you can't be there and you could donate 20 bucks, 10 bucks, whatever, 50 bucks, 500 bucks, we'll take that too. So we need some help. We're probably still about 50K short from our goal, but a $250,000 home is being built. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be safe. Um, he's gonna have a happy home and a great place to be with his wife. Yes. John is married now. Yes, I Crystal. know, I saw that. Oh my God. You know, we're almost out of time. You and I could chat all day, but what else do you want people to know about this quickly? I mean, just, you know, giving is a, is a muscle that you need to exercise, it grows. And I think when you have the opportunity to help somebody, I think you should. It, people talk about the difference that, you know, this community's made in John's life. I can't believe the difference he's made in my life and the community's life. Yeah. So get involved. It's good to do good things. Now you're getting me choked up there over here go. talking. Aw, <laughs> thank you, Pete. PR Foundation, oh, excuse me, PR Foundation, yeah. sunsetpointfairhope.net. Get a ticket, come to the event, it's gonna be great fun. Sounds good, thank you. And we're gonna have this information posted on our YouTube channel so you can share it with someone you know, our website too. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel too. That way when interviews like this pop up, you won't miss it. Thank you so much again, Pete. Thank you, you're the best. <laughs>